We are backstage in Phoenix, Arizona. The first ever ESPN card has just wrapped up. I'm joined by UFC President Dana White as I lose my voice because it's been a crazy night. Um, first off, how would you rate tonight's success with the first ever big ESPN card? We had a decent night. Um, you know, we'll see how the thing does, uh, uh, you know, ratings wise and everything else. But as far as the card went, crowd was ready to see some fights tonight. That's for sure. They were fired up. Um, there were some good finishes tonight, um, some good performances, but overall I'd call it decent. Okay, fair enough. One of the best fights of the year, I mean, it's only February, but you know, maybe in the past 12 months, uh, Vicente Luque versus Brian Barberina. What, what did you think of that while that was going down? 100%. I, standing ovation at the end of every round. When two guys go out there and put it out there like that, um, you know, they obviously they won fight of the night bonus. They deserve it. And uh, that was a very, very fun, entertaining fight to watch. And what's crazy is uh, Brian would have won if it went to the scorecards. And I can't remember what the time was, but the fight was almost over when he got finished. Yeah, the final horn had already sounded for the 10, or the 10 second warning. So yes, it was very close there. Um, another person who won a bonus tonight was Cron Gracie. Crone Gracie, excuse me. Um, came out there, he was 4-0 as an MMA fighter. Now he's perfect 5-0, all finishes. You had to be impressed by that. Very impressed and you know, uh, Alex is a very tough guy, very um, slick on the ground, good stand-up, and, and durable. He's, he's a tough kid. So for Kron, I don't care who you are, what family you come from, or where you fought, and how many people watch you. When you come in the first time into the UFC, everybody gets it. They get nervous. You know, some people don't perform when they've been performing in other places. That kid performed. He looked incredible, and he beat a real guy. So. Uh, I was very impressed with him. He walked in and out of the octagon like it wasn't a thing. Like he was just going to a meeting or something. Like he doesn't seem phased by a lot, which will be really interesting to see as his career progresses. Um, but the co-main event tonight, James Vick versus Paul Felder, that was a really entertaining battle between two very tough, very big lightweights. What did you make of that one? Yeah, um, it, it, it was a good fight. Listen, these guys beat the out of each other it would seriously I mean they, they, they were so I was looking at, at Felder and his eyes one pupil is really small and one pupil is huge it's crazy and uh, you know these guys the, how you doing buddy yeah, no, these guys uh, they, they went out it tonight neither one of them can walk what's up Nate Nate Diaz how you doing I'm good buddy how Nate, you doing? Are, are we gonna see you soon or what yeah, we're coming. all right you think we um, see Nate Diaz in the octagon soon no um, <laughs> Moving on. So, you know, tough fight. These guys are both tough guys, and it was a tough fight. And, uh, you know, ton of respect for both of them. Really entertaining for somebody who's maybe never watched a fight but had ESPN on their television. You know, it's a really great introduction to what the UFC is there. Um, but let's talk about the main event. A lot of things happened there in that quick 26 seconds. Cain Velasquez seemed to have blown out his knee. Francis Ngannou did land a short uppercut, it looks like. Um, Obviously, there's a lot of power in Francis's hands, but looking at this fight overall, what are your thoughts? Yeah, I think that, that Kane said that he did get hit with a punch. I thought his knee just blew out. I thought that the fight uh, um, was stopped because of that. But, you know, Kane's been off for two years. He's had a two-year layoff, and, you know, he's older, man. It's, it's, it's tough to come back into this sport, especially against an animal like Francis Ngannou. And... Uh, you know, he had a rough night. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Cain Velasquez is, of course, the training partner of Daniel Cormier, who is the current, I'm sorry I'm boring you, UFC heavyweight <laughs> champion. Uh, can you see that fight between DC and Francis Ngannou going down because of that storyline and because Francis is right there in the rankings? Well, yeah, Francis is there. Um, uh, Cormier's hurt right now, and we have another fight lined up for Cormier first, so we'll see how this whole thing plays out. Do you want to tell me who that fight is? Well, he's not healthy yet, so I would never announce a fight without it being done. It's, it makes no sense. I don't even know when Cormier is going to be ready. Okay. Well, I tried. Anyway, I'll let you uh, get on with your sleep since I am so terribly boring. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks, we appreciate it. <laughs>